Hang on, we got we got a minute left. Five twenty-nine. Can't start before five thirty. <coughs> Time here. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, are we on in the back there, guys? Oh, yeah. Thank you. They're good. We said we We're good. Uh, the hour of 5.30 having arrived, the meeting of uh, Thursday, April 11, 2013. Uh, now being here, I would ask Mr. Bull to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance, and then we will conduct a roll call. In the absence of our normal clerk, I would ask Miss Elliott to act in that role. President Quigley? Present. Uh, Secretary Wall? Here. Member Hansen? Here. Member Campbell? Here. And yeah, read the rest of them. Uh, quorum having been reached, we will convene the meeting. Uh, with that said, I would ask uh, for a approval of the amend the. Bleh. Oh, we're going to do the board affirmation statement, Miss Hanson, since you have it up on your computer. <laughs> <laughs> Our mission is to ensure that all students are prepared for college and a successful life, academically, socially, and emotionally, as well as equipped with the necessary tools to have options and make decisions about their long-term goals. This will be accomplished by believing and working towards all students, learning through rigorous curricula and meaningful, effective instruction, consequently demonstrating mastery on high-quality assessments with all stakeholders being held accountable throughout the process. Thank you. Uh, motion would be in order to approve the agenda as presented. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, seeing none. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. The ayes have it. Next, uh, I'd like to open up public hearing to amend the 2012 tax levy. Motion would be in order to open the public hearing, correct? Yes. So moved. Second. Okay. Motion and seconded. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, seeing none. I vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. We are in public hearing. Mr. Gazafi, if you would please explain the situation that we are in briefly to give us a heads up on where we are. Okay, very good. Um, we received our 2012 tax levy edit report. Uh, what this is is the uh, final uh, property values uh, for the district, um, and it would really determine our ult ultimate uh, levy uh, collection uh, that would be extended to the uh, to the taxing uh, bodies or taxing uh, uh, taxpayers of the school district. Uh, our original levy request that we uh, that you approved in December was for one hundred and thirty million three hundred seventy nine thousand uh, dollars. When we received our levy edit report, uh, the levy indicated it would only be extended at one hundred twenty eight million three hundred fifty five thousand dollars, or a net loss of over two million dollars. Uh, this was due primarily to the larger than expected decrease in the in the values of the property in within the district. Um, as you also know, the large uh, uh, component of that decrease was uh, due to the uh, hospital being taken off the tax rolls, uh, which when we verified the property values in November to, prior to formulating our levy, uh, that value was included in our overall uh, estimation of property values. Uh, so again, with that being withdrawn from uh, the overall um, pot, if you will, uh, caused a good majority of the $2 million shortfall. Um, over the weekend, I learned that there were two counties, uh, namely Kane County and DuPage County, that were allowing school districts who were at their rate maximums uh, in their specific funds, namely the education fund, to um, revise their levy. They couldn't increase their levy, but they could revise their levy uh, to the extent that they wouldn't lose 
dollars in their education fund by shifting what had what had been asked for but could not be extended again due to being at a rate max to the other funds in need uh, as you know our transportation fund has been taking a beating uh, over the last four years due to proration of uh, state reimbursement uh, and I indicated that in, in the cover memorandum that I had sent you uh, in the packet uh, and so uh, I think that fund is probably the fund most in need of uh, uh, this amended levy authority um, that I'm asking you to consider this evening. Uh, again, we are not requesting any additional dollars uh, over our December levy request. Uh, in fact, we're asking for $210,000 less. Uh, but again, we want to make sure that we capture everything that we're entitled to uh, under, the, uh, under the property tax cap legislation. Uh, and that's uh, why we needed to have this special meeting this evening. Right, the school code permits this as well as um, the uh, property tax act. Correct. As I understand it, we have to do this. Uh, it's a short notification meeting because the county treasurer requires the information by tomorrow morning, uh, and they've kind of granted. They asked for it today, but we couldn't do the meeting that quickly. Uh, so we are uh, doing this in order to expedite that to get it to the treasurer's office so they can include this. Uh, I am happy to say that it is below the 130 million, albeit only a few hundred thousand dollars, and it will help uh, our transportation situation because we have been seeing a, a severe reduction. I don't know the exact numbers, but a severe reduction in monies collected from the state for transportation, uh, not only for uh, general transportation, but also special ed. Is that correct? Uh, special ed has not been subject to proration. Uh, I think I sent something out today. Okay. Uh, yeah, I wasn't sure. To, to our uh, consultant. Uh, next year looks even more uh, uh, difficult. Uh, what typically would be a $2.6 million reimbursement for the prior year's expenditures has been prorated over the last two years down to about 1.4, 1.6. Uh, next year, the governor has proposed in his budget a 19% proration factor, and that really puts us into the bottom tier of the formula, generating $61,000 from what normally would be a $1.4, $1.6 million prorated amount, which would be normally a $2.6 million, 100% proration. So in three years we've gone, we'll be down to? We're close to $7 million uh, a hit in, in, uh, in, in the transportation money. over the last three years. Great. And I mean that sarcastically. So uh, uh, is there we, any other discussion on this? Does anybody have any questions or how the operation of this goes? And just, so on? just for some clarity, so what you're, so that I'm getting it, our school code permits, what's it? What right, you, you can't increase the, right. the overall amount of the levy, but you can you can reassess the, the funds so that you get the as much of the full um, amount that you can subject right. to tax caps for each fund. So the benefit of where we're doing and putting this is in the transportation area. It's right, we are shifting. The benefit is gonna come. Exactly correct. Okay. We're shifting one point one million eight hundred fifty thousand dollars. One point six of which will go to the transportation area. Okay. Uh, we're also shifting two hundred fifty thousand to the special education levy uh, to assist in that area. Okay. Those so costs. actually, then two funds are going to have some benefit that wouldn't have been there by not doing this. If absolutely. If you don't do this, then those two funds don't get the don't get that benefit. I just want to make sure I that's understand absolutely where correct. The benefits going. That's absolutely okay. correct. And we're not asking for any more money right. than we no already we money. all voted on right. in November. Right. This is actually a little less than that. Right. So. Okay. Uh, any other questions from anyone? If not, it would be in order for a motion to approve. No, we gotta close this. Don't you? Have to we have to close, close the hearing. Close the hearing. A motion to close the public hearing. I'm sorry. So moved. Motion by Ms. Campbell, second by Mr. Bull. Uh, roll call vote, please. Um, President Quigley. Aye. Secretary Bull. Member Campbell? Yes. Member Hansen? Yes. Uh, we are now back in general session. Uh, we have agreed in hearing. We had the discussions. Is there a motion to approve the levy as amended? So moved. Second. Motion and seconded. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, seeing none. Is there any questions from the audience on the action we have taken this evening? No. Hearing none, no. seeing none. Uh, vote first. Oh, that's right. We got to vote first. I'm sorry. Uh, Hearing no, yeah, roll call vote, please. President Quigley? Aye. Secretary Bull? Yes. Member Campbell? Yes. Member Hansen? Yes. Pass 4 uh, 
that in order and that completed. Uh, is there any, any questions from the audience this evening on actions we have taken? Hearing none, seeing none, a motion to adjourn would be in order. So moved. Second. Motion by Mrs. Campbell. Second. Second by Ms. Hansen. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. We stand adjourned. Thank you for your time. Have fun listening. Oh, I don't know what you got here.